Beware if you intend to stay. Fanatics hunt non-humans at night. Hmm. Plague. So the gardener that wants the rootstocks was somewhere next to the church or chapel. You bring trouble. So here? Maybe it's this guy. Look how they grow. Yeah, it's him. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? I finished that. I finished that and have proof. Excellent. Here's your gold. He sold something. Look at. Hmm. Don't you fear the plague? My garden brings joy. When Melitelli decides my time has come, I will go happily. Tell me about your mercenary days. Bring me a morsel to eat and we'll talk. Um, do I have anything? Yes, I do. Mmm, delicious. Amazing how honest toil can stir the appetite. Thank you, Witcher. You were saying? You were saying? During the war, I served as a mercenary under Pretty Kitty herself. You've heard what a warrior she was. What a woman. Strong women. Nothing on this earth like them. Too true. We could take on anyone. I saw half the world as a member of Pretty Kitty's corps of mercenaries. We even went to Zeracania. That's really far. It was hell. Hot as an oven, and humid as a bathhouse. We massacred the natives while Zeracania massacred us. They have flies there that creep up your nose at night and lay eggs. Then the larvae eat your brain and crawl out your eyes once they mature into flies. Ugh. Disgusting. Many of us died thus. There were also diseases, venomous spiders and snakes, and many other afflictions I can't even name. I even saw a striped horse. After almost eight months of fighting the jungle, we had to retreat. Impossible to win a war if you can't locate your enemy. It was the only defeat Pretty Kitty ever suffered. Interesting story. Thanks. Look how they grow. Hmm. And again. Oh, Zeracania. Growing beautifully. Zeracania is a mysterious land located in the far south. Northern kingdoms have very little to do with that realm. Not a lot is known about Zeracania. At least in the north. Its climate is hot, exotic animals roam the lands, and the inhabitants worship dragons. Furthermore, Zeracania is famous for its alchemists, who specialize in pyrotechnics bombs, and for its tattooed warrior women, who are skilled in the use of sabers. Oh, hi! Yeah. Look who it is! Witcher! Zoltan Shive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? Yeah, poker. I've won a few poker rounds already. Congratulations! You're a virgin no more. Now you'll play for real. Where do I find these famed Viziman poker players? Where you find all other things illegal. Near the hairy bear. This might get interesting. Don't be surprised if someone doesn't want to play with you. Real bigwigs will only deal with professionals. And a professional is? One who wins at least four professional games. Do that and you'll be welcome at every table. I need to beat four professionals. Breeze. Hmm. So wait, I... Yes? How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel... Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. 
go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. For work. I'm looking for work. Monsters are threatening the landing in the swamp. Everyone keeps complaining. Who should I talk to about ridding them of the danger? Contact Louvarden. He's usually on the dike, supervising the loading and unloading of goods. Oh. Thanks, Sultan. Yes? Farewell. Uh, a nice bit of information. More work. Means more gold. Um. So, those bastards want a quarantine. Who'll pay for the goods they confiscate? Hmm. Guards practicing. As Ravkanek says, the only good ass are dead foods are to come by. Are the same. The the ass. Ass. Go see about. See, this guy's a merchant. Apparently. Hello? I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Yeah. Because the guard mentioned him. Accidentally. <laughs> but anyways. The city guards found a witcher's sword at your place. The city guards found a witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. Lovely. Um... Yeah, he might be a gambler. But where did you get it? How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Can I find him? Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Coleman. Coleman? He's the guy we were supposed to deliver the parcel to. Is he the guy you got the sword from? So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I told you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. <laughs> so the sword came from a different source. So Geralt assumed that the sword came from Berengar. But it was just by accident that Thaler got hold of both the sword and Berengar's goods. So the sword wasn't Berengar's. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Well, I could ask him about this. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss-swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with them? You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Beringer's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. Hmm. That is believable. 
That's believable. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Dijkstra, ace spy. Dog's balls, what a clever analysis. If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. Hell with it. Lots of quests. So what? You gamble? You gamble? I'm an absolutely great poker player. Why? Care to play? Got balls enough? Try me. Better believe I fucking will. Even now. I'll find you later. Yeah, let's save. In case we end up losing all our, all our money. So let's gamble. Right. One, two, three, two, four. Um, two pairs. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll throw one of the twos. See if I can get a higher pair or... Again, I'm losing. A full house. No, not a full house. But, um... That's unfortunate. Six. Sixes. Oh, nice. Four of a kind. Oh. I need to win this. Come on. One more six. Oh. Is this better? If he gets a three. Let's try that again. So what? Oh, nice. Very good. I won't be throwing anything. I'll stick with this hand. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now, I... I could... One, two, three. I could throw the one, and if I get a two, I've got a... What's it called? Five high straight, or something like that. Or I could throw the six and get a five. No, a... Um, one, two, three. A four, and we... No, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Or... Two, three... Four, five, six. I think we'll go for the lower one. So this needs to be a four. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Boom! That's it. Got my money back. Save. The game crashes now. So what'll it be? He had something to sell as well. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Forensic medicine. The Book of the Golden Orioli. 
for a hundred. Formula for golden oriole, wolf, and black blood. Blue meteorite. Again for five hundred. <clears throat> I could sell this for 40. <sighs> what I think is... I think what I'll do now is I'll complete the contracts. Right? And gather some gold. Talk to Luvarden about the drowners. At the swamp landing. So, um, this one, safe haven, about the drowners in the swamp landing. Heron's parcel is gone, I should put some pressure on the Jethro, maybe he'll cough it up. Oh yeah, that one as well. So, yeah, let's go talk to Jethro, then Luvarden. But Jethro was here in the dungeon. I'm trying to be organized about this. So here's uh, Jethro. It's so damn, it's strong! What's strong? None of your business. I just... I have some questions. I have questions. Ask. Yeah, this one. The parcel's missing from my belongings. We're glad you're not doing extra time for it. We've confiscated it. Don't mention it to the captain. Damned thieves. <laughs> So I guess we're not getting it back. Why was the professor released from prison? Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. Vivaldi's? Interesting. I have questions. Ask. If Foltest put a reward on the professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamandra badges taken from dead bandits. Oh. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you. But the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. <laughs> See ya. All of this information, I'm finding it difficult to... ...keep track of it all. I need to tell Coleman about the parcel. I should question the dwarf Vivaldi. I should speak to the messenger of the man who reports people for killing salamanders. I'll meet him tonight at Harry Bear. Characters. Vivaldi. Golan Vivaldi is a dwarf who is very touchy about his race. The Vivaldis are financiers, and one of their banks is located in Vizima's trade quarter. The money for the professor's bail came from Vivaldi's bank. That's how the criminal walked free. So the bank is in Trade Quarter, so it's not here. But Vivaldi's house is here, so I guess we can find him there, I hope. Floor grating. So this is the way to the sewers. Right. Okay, so there's been a change of plans, I guess. We'll head to the inn, and then we'll talk to the Warden. If he is still on the dike. So, chop chop. Oh, there's still a bit of toxicity left. Hmm.
rising witcher. Just checking. You. Why? Looking for adventure. Not with you. So. There's supposed to be a poker player at the inn who had the sword. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Shut your trap! I barely escaped some creatures last night. Count, huh? it's been ages. I couldn't believe Zoltan when he said you'd returned. It's me, Munro. Exiles to war. You, Zoltan, and I helped them. You must remember. Uh, okay. How's life? Can't complain. I have a nice slow job as a bouncer. That's slow. The guests settle things between themselves. It's a quiet place. Birds don't ever shit in their own nests. Anyone play dice here? Anyone play dice here? I play professionally, I'd say. Oh. Care for a game? Sure, we'll see if there's truth to the rumors about you. Whenever. Even now. Yeah, we could, yeah. Sure. Quick game. So, a pair. Pair. What I think I'll do is I'll go for a higher pair. So I'll throw one of the ones. So I'm losing anyways. Nope. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. Again, we're in the situation where he has two pairs, and I've got nothing. One, two, three. Yeah, let's try the same strategy. Come on, four. Six, no. <sighs> and a three of a kind. That again. Let's play. Come on. We can do this. A pair. A decent one. Once again, he scores higher. This time, we'll go for a three of a kind. Useless. Completely useless. Uh, uh, two pairs. No, wait. That's a full house. Stick with the hand. If he gets a full house, I'm so... Four of a kind! No! Okay, save. <laughs> In case I lose. How are things go? Play. Throw. So. Three of a kind. Which is good. So I'm winning this round. I hope. Throw these. Come on, one more one. No, well. Mm. Oh. Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah. This is going well. Oh! Four sixes. I he, he couldn't do any better than that, really. I can still try and get a six. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Three. So a pair again. He gets two pairs. Three of a kind beats two pairs, so... I'll try and go for that. Come on, three. Six, three, yes. Okay, good. I'm winning. If he gets a two or a three... No, I win, yes! Fist fighting. Now there's a proper player. Maybe he's the one who got the sword. I'll wager your look excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I could tell you're well traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. Hmm. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. Yeah, so this is our guy, possibly. Silver sword. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebiota's hospital. Oh. Guess we'll have a chat with him. Seen anything strange with another freak? Thanks. So the gardener. Look how they grow. I'm more interested in silver swords. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes. It was Witcher Cohen's. Oh. A strapping fellow in a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. Is he a professional? Possibly, but let's hold off for now. Godspeed. And she works at the hospital. Oh, I might... Pay for this. I might try getting in. See if I can bribe the guard. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. 
Mm, maybe 30? Fine, move on. Oh. Huh. Because the thing is, yeah, the game gives you an initial amount. In this case it was 20, but you can't really know if that's enough. So is Shani in here? Somewhere? Yeah, there she is. Geralt, you managed to get out of prison. I did, though it wasn't easy. I've heard about your deeds. Hmm? Hmm. I see you're working at the hospital. I'm fighting the plague. No time for chit-chat. When can we talk? I have a room in the northern end of town. Stop by after work. Okay. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Oh, and... <laughs> okay. Um... Any way I can help? How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides kill. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but... Did you know Rusty? Don't recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes. The best one's Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. I'll try to help. Every blossom counts. Bring at least five sprouts. Well, I have it, as it so happens. Here's the Celandine. Excellent. I'm really grateful. Oh! I'd prefer a monster anatomy lesson. I dissected a drowned dead once. And that would have given us an entry. You'll be fine. So, characters. Shani works at St. Lebiota's Hospital during the day and spends evenings at her lodging in the Temple Quarter. She hates it when people disturb her at work, so it's best to visit her later in the day. I'll... One more thing. Hi, Geralt. Hi, Shani. I miss Oxenfurt sometimes. Oh. You could always go back. No. I'm needed here. Few have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly. I need to get back to work. I need About to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I suppose. Visit me at home. Okay. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Okay, fine. See ya. Fine, fine. My lungs. Some kind of curse. So later. Oh yeah, and we were supposed to question Coleman. He was supposed to be at the inn. About Berengar's things. So let's do that, and then we'll talk to Luvaiden. Someone stole my trousers. <sighs> Wait till I catch him. So Coleman, 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 Coleman. Now who could he be? Wonder if the innkeeper knows. Damn it! Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? What's with all this betting? What's with all this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wage it on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. Oh. So yeah, about the parcel. Heron Brog asked me to deliver this parcel. Coleman's dirty schemes. Parcels for him. Where can I find this Coleman? Am I my brother's keeper? Look for him yourself. I'm busy running this place loftily called a tavern. All right, I'll look around. Ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find. So long. Okay. Let's try asking people. Must kill for some fun. Cursed plague stopped our transport outside Vizima. What are you looking at? Nothing. Oh. 
Greetings. Look who's here. Who are you? They call me Coleman. What do you do? I sell things, travel about. Like where? Swamps recently. What do you care? Just asking. You buying? I hear you deal with Thaler. I hear you deal with Thaler. Mind your own business. I had a parcel for you from Harren. Had a parcel for you from Harren. You had it. The city guards took it. Curses. Always happens to me. Maybe we can bribe someone. No grudge? Just don't offer to deliver my packages again. Get it? See ya. Oh. Oh. See? A potato. I guess I could drink him under the table and see if he would be willing to share you buying some information about this. So yeah, let's do that, and then because we're drunk, we might meditate and recover our composure because we have lots of weak alcohol. So. Let's do this. Sitting with me friends and we're drinking all by then But she didn't see me cry Cause I hit her in the eye and now she's Laughing Oh, my head's spinning <laughs> What? A witcher? You scheming with Salamandra too? Seen a witcher before? Aye. Uh, when I met those peasants in the swamp, bought that witch's gear from them. Real cheap. Made a killing, did you? <laughs> Sold it to Tala for twice the gold. Brickmakers nearly gave it away. Good to know. So... There's people living in the swamp who had Berengar's gear. You've had an. <sighs> Guess I can't talk to him when I'm drunk. Let's rest. Damn. Any room? Fine. Yeah, we need this. And we leveled up, and a silver talent. Now again, we can't put any more into stamina or dexterity. This, on the other hand, might be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Or maybe... Hmm. Works on when girl is drunk. Okay. I might level this up, but I figure this is more important. Yeah, because we'll be using signs in the future, I think. So, I'm re yeah, really tempted by this. Cleansing purifies the body from toxicity. Very useful. If I ever need to drink a potion, and I'm already. Mm. No point in leveling the, any of these up with silver talents yet. So. Intelligence it is. Additional ingredients. And a cleansing ritual. Yeah. I think that's, that's okay. And there's nothing we can do here, so just rest. <laughs> 